Hi everyone, Cheryl here. So I'm here to share with you the projects that I completed for our friendship swap for March. Um, so <clears throat> I'll be sure to leave a link in the description box below for Tamika's channel, Shantae's channel, and Audrey's channel. So for the month of March, Shantae picked um, two cards that um, we could give to someone else, as well as three altered clothespins. So what I used, I used this uh, Something Blue paper stack. And then I also used this really pretty napkin. And I got this from Tuesday morning, I believe. So I'll share with you the altered uh, clothespins first. So what I did was I used the napkin <clears throat> to alter the paper clip. So I just cut the napkin down to size. First I painted all the clips white. Just take this one off. So I painted all the clips white first, and then I used some Mod Podge, put that down, put the strip of napkin down, and then my Mod Podge did it again. And then I took these wooden butterflies that I had in my stash, and I used three different sizes. So I used this larger size here, a medium size, and then a small size. And so I um, I actually just painted those white as well. And then I put, hmm, I think I put some Mod Podge down and then I used some Martha Stewart glitter on it so that it had a lot of bling. So I did that and then this is a um, like rind, large rhinestone piece, one that you can actually sew on. I got that from Hobby Lobby and these are Wild Orchid Craft Flowers that I purchased from Marchana on her um, Facebook group. And then just a string of um, tiny flatback pearl trim. And then what I did was I just used my homemade shimmer to spray it so that all the flowers had a really pretty shine. Oh, and there's a <clears throat> Wild Orchid Craft leaf behind it. It's the green leaf, like the green and the yellow leaf, if you guys can see that. But what I did was I just painted it white as well. Okay? And what I did, because, you know, when you use a napkin to put it down, it doesn't have... It dries, but I wanted it to have kind of like a harder surface. So I used this triple thick gloss that I got from Michaels a couple years ago and I used that on top of it and when it dried it's super hard <clears throat> so here is the medium sized one super pretty and then for the large size one I stuck this yellow resin piece in the middle and they are finished on the back too and then here is this one super cute and then all I did was I took a piece of chipboard and just used um, some paper from the something blue on it okay so that is this set I haven't packaged them yet, up yet because I wanted you guys to be able to see them so here's one here is this one and they're all the same they're not different or anything like that and the paper is the same as just the way I clipped it on there and then here's this one okay so let me actually move those out the way now for the cards you guys know I struggle with cards so much it's not even funny I swear when I get ready to make a card it's like I have a mental block and my mojo runs away but <clears throat> here they are here's the first one and it's I'm just using the um, hello stamp down at the bottom I think I brought over the wrong ones. Um, so this one just has the hello stamp down at the bottom. And what I did was I took this corrugated cardstock that Audrey had gifted to me. Um, it came in a bunch of different colors. So I just took the craft color one, turned it on the side so that they, um, <clears throat> the corrugation is, uh, what do you say, horizontal as opposed to vertical. And then I just used my Martha Stewart doily like edge doily punch and then I use this um, really roughly ribbon um, or trim I should say that you can get from Hobby Lobby a Wild Orchid Craft Flower from Marchana and then the tiny flatback pearl trim and then I just took my Martha Stewart punch and punched out the butterfly twice in white and then I used my stickles to go around the edges of it on both sides or both layers I should say and then I put one of those wing trims in the middle and then the flower is stickled as well okay and this one actually opens up to the side like this. That's why I say I brought the wrong one because I made a couple more. 
because they I made them all to open up this way okay so here's a blue one this one is Shantae because I know she loves this color the blues and the greens super cute <clears throat> and then here is the other pink one and again this one opens up like this okay so that's this card and then for the last card <clears throat> This one is using the corrugated card stock, the box of cards that you can get from Michaels. And so that's what this one looks like. So what I did was I just took some paper from the something blue and then um, I took some of my scraps left over and I used a stamp from Michaels that says a note and I made it into um, a banner shape, backed it onto some more something blue card stock. I edged it with some stickles all around. I hope you guys can see that or the camera picks it up because I can't tell. And then I took some doilies that I got from Alicia um, when I saw her in Minnesota last year. And I just cut them in half, inked the edges up, and then I took the stickles and just went around the edge. So it has like that pretty, pretty um, shimmer. These are all um, Wild Orchid Craft Flowers from Archana. And then these cute little pieces here. Those are from Hobby Lobby as well. And then I took a butterfly punch from Martha Stewart and I punched it out twice in um, different paper from uh, something blue. And then I just stuck one of those cherry blossoms in the middle. And then all the flowers have been stickled. The butterfly has been stickled as well. And then there's tiny flat back pearl trim at the top. And then when you open it up, it's just some white paper and another butterfly um, that I've stickled as well. Okay, so all of the cards are the same. One, two, and three. Okay, and then the ladies have a goodie. Um, it's in this bag, so you guys cannot tell what it is. And I promised Tamika, since she is the warden when it comes to how much we spend on the goodie, I promised it was $2 or under. <laughs> all right, ladies, I hope you enjoy what I'm sending you. Oh, I forgot. Here is the little card for them that um, has a message on the inside. They also, so I figured this was fitting for all of them. So um, thank you ladies so much. Um, I can't wait to see what we do for next month or should I say wait till you guys see what we did for next month. And then I will talk to y'all soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.